Tilapia are mainly freshwater fish inhabiting shallow streams, ponds, rivers and lakes and less commonly found living in brackish water. The popularity of tilapia came about due to its low price, easy preparation, and its mild taste. Like other fish and animals, tilapia come in a variety of species. Three of the most commonly fished and eaten species of tilapia are Nile tilapia, Blue tilapia, Mozambique tilapia. The Nile tilapia is a species of tilapia, a cichlid fish native to Africa from Egypt south to east and central Africa, and as far west as Gambia. It tolerates brackish water and survives temperatures between 8 and 42 degrees Celsius 46 and 108 degrees Fahrenheit. It is an omnivore, feeding on plankton as well as on higher plants. The Nile tilapia is an omnivore that feeds on both plankton and aquatic plants. The Nile tilapia typically feeds during daytime hours. This suggests that, similar to trout and salmon, it exhibits a behavioral response to light as a main factor contributing to feeding activity. The blue tilapia or Israeli tilapia, Oriochromus aureus, is a species of fish in the Cichlidae family. Native to northern and western Africa, and the Middle East, through introductions it is now also established elsewhere, including parts of the United States. The blue tilapia is a freshwater fish with a high tolerance for brackish water. Adults are usually 5 to 8 and 13 to 20 centimeters, in length and weigh 5 to 6 pounds, 2.3 to 2.7 kilograms. The largest recorded specimen was more than 21 inches, 53 centimeters, long and weighed more than 10 pounds, 4.5 kilograms. Blue tilapia are mouth brooders, and broods range from 160 to 1600 eggs per female. O. Aureus is primarily herbivorous, but will occasionally consume zooplankton, the young include small invertebrates in their diet. The Mozambique tilapia, Oreochromus mosambicus, is a tilapine cichlid fish native to southern Africa. It is a popular fish for aquaculture. Dull-colored, the Mozambique tilapia often lives up to a decade in its native habitats. The native Mozambique tilapia is laterally compressed, and has a deep body with long dorsal fins, the front part of which have spines. Native coloration is a dull greenish or yellowish, and there may be weak banding. Adults reach approximately 35 cm in, in length and up to 1.13 kg Size and coloration may vary in captive and naturalized populations due to environmental and breeding pressures. It lives for up to 11 years. It also tolerates brackish water and survives temperatures below 50 degrees Fahrenheit 10 degrees Celsius and above 100 degrees Fahrenheit 38 degrees Celsius. Sustained water temperatures of 55 degrees are lethal to Mozambique tilapia. Mozambique tilapia are omnivorous. They can consume detrital material, diatoms, invertebrates, small fry and vegetation ranging from macroalgae to rooted plants. This broad diet helps the species thrive in diverse locations. Stocking rates of 12,000 to 20,000 acre have been used in 1.2 to 2.5 acre ponds, but this requires the continuous use of 2 to 4, 1 horsepower paddle wheel aerators per pond. For recirculating aquaculture system 50 kg per cubic meter or even more, 100 to 140 fish per meter cube. Aeration is employed to increase production in tanks because dissolved oxygen is usually the limiting water quality factor. The maximum tilapia density in raceways ranges from 160 to 185 kg per cubic meter, and maximum loading ranges from 1.2 to 1.5 kg liter per minute. Tilapia like warm water, can live in fresh, brackish, or salt water, and have excellent tasting, firm, white meat. Feed, tilapia eat plants, love protein-rich duckweed, equal in protein to commercial fish feed, and also filter algae from the water using tiny combs in their gills. A number of supplemental feeds can, and should, be fed to tilapia. They decrease costs and increase fish health. Duckweed is often mentioned in this context, as it is relatively high in protein, rich in vitamin C and provides roughage. The problem with duckweed is that it competes with the fish for tank space. Algae and zooplankton are harvested from the algae beds. The balanced, organic, live meal is poured into the fish tank and both tilapia fish and crayfish begin their feeding frenzy. The waste from the fish contains a lot of ammonia which converts in the plant beds above to aquaponically feed the plants. Commercial tilapia feeds are formulated, cooked, extruded and pelletized diets typically containing 32% to 40% protein. This can be fish meal or soya-based protein, with the former being more palatable to the fish. 
The question of palatability is important, and one frequently overlooked by nutritionists, feed manufacturers and fish farmers themselves. Floating pellets are usually recommended, as they remain on the surface until consumed. They are, however, more expensive. Pellets designed to sink are simpler to manufacture and are therefore cheaper. But they can get lost in the bottom mud of ponds. This is not a problem in shallow, artificial containments, though, as the fish can find pellets that have sunk to the tank floor. In practice, many locally made pellets that are designed to float end up sinking immediately. Vitamin C is an important ingredient and should not be omitted from the pellet formulation. If it is, it should be provided in some form by supplemental feeding. In any recirculating system, the water cannot be fertilized as it is in earth pond culture. The process is often misunderstood. Pond water is fertilized using animal manure to increase the natural productivity of food organisms. Growth rate of tilapia. First month. For 1 to 5 gram tilapia, growth rate 0.2 grams per day feeding rate 15 to 10 percent per day. Second month. For 5 to 20 gram tilapia, growth rate 0.5 grams per day feeding rate 10 to 7 percent per day. Third month. For 20 to 50 gram tilapia, growth rate 1 gram per day feeding rate 7 to 4 percent per day. Fourth month. For 50 to 100 gram tilapia, growth rate 1.5 grams per day feeding rate 4 to 3.5 percent per day. Fifth month. For 100 to 165 gram tilapia, growth rate 2 grams per day feeding rate 3.5 to 2.5 percent per day. Sixth month. For 165 to 250 gram tilapia, growth rate 2.5 grams per day feeding rate 2.5 to 1.5 percent per day. Seventh month. For 250 to 350 gram tilapia, growth rate 3 grams per day feeding rate 1.5 to 1.25 percent per day. Eighth month. For 350 to 475 gram tilapia, growth rate 4 grams per day feeding rate 1.25 to 1 percent per day. Ninth month. For 475 to 625 gram tilapia, growth rate 5 grams per day feeding rate 1 percent per day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.